So this question looks like a translate word problem question. Again, I'm saying that immediately without even reading the question, simply based upon the length of the question, right? So translate word problem questions are typically four or more lines long, which this question definitely is. And translate word problem as a strategy really just says, I don't wanna read long questions from start to finish all in one go. Instead, I'm gonna read a sentence at a time and make sure that I'm writing down or translating any quantitative information as I read it. So the first sentence here says the equation, so I'm gonna just write this down because it's quantitative, the equation 0.95c plus 0.05n is equal to 8.87, represents the density of a copper zinc alloy, where C is the density, okay, so that's important. I don't want to have to go back and read that. C equals density in grams per cubic centimeter of copper. N is the density, oh, so this is density copper, and that makes sense. So N equals density zinc. And 8.87 grams per cubic centimeter is the density of the alloy, right? So alloy just means the addition of the two, right? So the density is 8.87, which makes sense, right? We're already, we see that from the equation. The density of copper, oh, so now we're being told that C is equal to 8.96. What is the density of zinc? So the question is just saying, what is N equals? So you see all these notes that I wrote? Um, this part probably not as necessary because C being copper is pretty obvious. N being zinc, not so obvious, right? So maybe even the ability to like underline that or circle it in the question would have been just as helpful. But now I have this equation and I know what C is equal to, and I know that I'm just solving for N, so I'm gonna just take this equation, 0 0.95, replace C with 8.96, add that to 0 0.05N equals 8.87. This is the calculator section, so I'm gonna to go to my calculator and say, well, what is 0 0.95 times 8.96? I am getting 8.512. I'm adding that again to 0 0.05N equals 8.87. Of course, I can subtract this from both sides now, and I'm left with 0.05n is equal to, again, my calculator, 8.87 minus 8.512 gives me 0.358. And then I divide by 0.05 in order to solve for n, right? So n is equal to, again, my calculator, 0.358 divided by 0.05, and I'm getting 7.16, and therefore the correct answer here is choice C.